So uh, there are many of these stories uh, in the book. One of the popular ones that is still re talked about today in Yoruba uh, popular uh, narrative is the story of Obatala and Ududua. I mean, these are individuals in Yoruba religion, in Yoruba pantheon. Uh, Obatala is regarded as the, as the father figure of the pantheon, you know. And uh, Ududua is believed to be the first king of Ilefe. I locate this, the stories surrounding these two individuals towards the end of I mean, the, the, the 10th century when Ilefe came into existence as an urban, as an urban, as, I mean, as a city state. So the stories of the conflicts between these two individuals is that when the Supreme God was about to create the universe, or let me say create the earth, <laughs> he sent a number of divinities from heaven to come and turn the watery surface of the earth to create land out of that surface. He gave the leadership position to Obatala. He gave him a five-toed chicken, a sack of a sack of sand, and a palm nut. That when they descend on the onto onto the plat onto the earth, Obatala should spread that a, just a small piece of uh, sand on the on the surface of the ocean, and drop the, the five-toed chicken on top of that sand. And anywhere the sand touches. As the as the chicken was spreading the sand, that water surface will become solid, it will become land. Now, as this process was going on, uh, they were planting palm nut, and palm nut was growing, becoming a palm tree, and they were able to make palm wine from the palm tree. Along the way, uh, Obatala began to indulge too much in drinking palm wine. And then he became drunk and therefore unable to provide the leadership that was expected of him. In his, in his moment of uh, being incapacitated by, you know, imbibing too much uh, alcohol, I mean, imbibing too much palm wine, Ududua took over the leadership role. And by the time Obatala woke up from his slumber, Ududua had completed the task he had created the city of Ilefe and he had become the king of Ilefe. So in that process, Obatala lost political leadership, but he became sober and, uh, and uh, vowed that he would never drink palm wine again. And based on that, Odudua realized that he cannot govern this new city-state without the spiritual power that Obatala still had. So, the two of them were able to work out their differences. Odudua retained the political leadership and Obatala retained the spiritual. He lost political leadership, but he retained the spiritual leadership. And it is the collaboration between the two of them that made Ileife to prosper as a state.